Hello, this is the One Episode Rule, a podcast about first impressions. I am Magpie, and I've come to a decision. Um. I, I've opened up a few of these and said that uh, I don't know what I'm going to watch next for, for, for anime, and I never come to a concrete decision. So I think I'm going to leave this in the listeners' hands. Uh, when this goes up, I'm going to put up a poll on Twitter. Ha, nice. So that you guys can pick what you would like me to watch and report upon. Uh, I, I love this audience so interaction. From a couple of options, I'm going to put on uh, I'm going to put on the new FLCLs. I'm going to put on uh, Higurashi. I think it's I think I need to watch the answers arc because I watched the first one. <laughs> uh, Odd Taxi, Baki. You know, there's going to be all sorts of stuff to pick from on there and and you will choose the investigative reporting <laughs> very cool um how, how are you guys um i'm black hole um i'm tired i'm mostly just playing playing tetris and uh listening to audiobooks the last couple days <clears throat> um nothing much else really and i'm joey uh i've just been uh uh, not doing much lately. Thrifting. That's it. <laughs> you know, I saw, uh, I saw Castle in the Sky at the thrift store today, and I thought about getting it, but then I was like, I think Tyler might have that. <laughs> should have got so it gonna, anyway. <laughs> I should have got it anyway for my own collection. You're right. It's a good one. I like Castle in the Sky a lot. It's a good <laughs> one. But then I was scared that it was going to be only the dub, and I was like, hmm. Um, you guys want some news? Sure. All right. Let's get some news. Um, we've got we've we've got some announcements for uh, for release dates. It looks like uh, it looks like a new major part of uh, the the Gundam series is going to come out called uh, Gundam: The Witch from Mercury. Oh my! There's a pretty distinctive visual style here. Looks like a, a female MC. Hmm. That's fun. It's gonna, gonna come out. Uh, let's see. Is it where, where? Where does it say it's gonna come out? It's October. Yeah, October 2022. Uh, people are people are hyped about this on Twitter. Guns <laughs> of people. They they say the soundtrack seems really interesting. Um, Rad. They released some some teaser stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, Pop Team got in an announcement that contained only this, a uh, a air date of October 2022. <laughs> <laughs> October's going to be a busy month. Uh, with no trailer or teaser image like any other anime because it's Pop Team and that would Pop be team. meaningless. <laughs> Although yeah. I think they should have done it and ha had it be completely unrelated to the show. <laughs> yes. And uh, finally, uh, finally, Crunchyroll has announced their program to advance the proliferation of internet piracy by uh, declaring that they will end simulcasts uh, for free users uh, for the spring 2022 season. Uh, I'm, it's, a, it's very difficult to actually read through this press release uh, and figure out what they mean, but just from a guess, it looks like you're not ever going to get any more any new anime from Crunchyroll if you don't pay for it. <laughs> well, that uh, seems awful. It seems, it seems like their their old shit might still be uh, accessible, and they they they're so charitably offering like three episodes of uh, uh, of these new series uh, for right. free on a delay that expires in May. <laughs> And then they'll go away too. <laughs> All right. So they're doing, they're making great strides in in the field of in encouraging the return of widespread internet piracy. <laughs> yeah, we're just going backwards here. Although to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, people who use ad blocker on Crunchyroll are kind of doing piracy a little bit. Well, you know what? I I feel like I feel like those people wouldn't use ad blocker on Crunchyroll if Crunchyroll didn't air fifteen yeah. ads per show. Crunchyroll's 
Crunchyroll with ads is literally unwatchable. It is absolutely unwatchable. Um, so yeah. Um, so so that's the way that's going. I hope you all, I th- hope you all have your uh, illicit hookups for shows you want to watch worked out. If not, now's the time to snort start sniffing snort. <laughs> Now's you the better... time to start sniffing around for them. <laughs> you better snart up those animes. <laughs> um, that's uh, yeah. that's the news. Yay! Uh, I thought you were going to mention the other anime that was announced to be coming out, which is oh? they're uh, they've announced that uh, more JoJo's is coming out this fall. Oh yeah, more JoJo's is coming out this fall. But... I, I didn't hit it because JoJo's is already out, and this is just more of that yeah. arc coming out. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I, re- I really do need to watch what the rest of the currently you action should. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here. <laughs> we're here to to watch sample anime. to sample a different show. Uh, this one's gonna come to us from the usual pipeline of YouTube started showing me clips of it. So I said, I'll watch that. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Uh, So I think today we're going to, uh, we're going to get a little taste of the case study of Vanitas. Oh, intriguing Hmm. sounding. Interesting. Uh, Because I saw a clip of it that reminded me of Madoka. Sweet. Got one, ah, 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 Tumblr sexy man. Two. Maybe more. Oh man, this really is bait for that, though. I'm surprised I haven't seen more of it. Yeah, yeah me too. Tumblr, what are you? Tumblr, where are you? Come on. I feel What's like this? I'm being pandered to, even though I'm not even in the demographic. What's this? What's this blurb? With the yeah. zero Japanese words in it. I I will do it. Okay. Scorned by the others of his kind for being born under a blue moon, the vampire Vanitas grew afraid and desolate. According to legend, he created a cursed grimoire known as the Book of Vanitas, and it is said that he would one day use it to bring retribution upon all vampires of the Crimson Moon. In 19- in 19th century Paris, no arc archivist. <laughs> There's French words. I tricked you. No archivist <laughs> is searching for the fabled book of Vanitas. Whilst traveling abroad, an airship, he is saved from a vampire attack by an eccentric doctor who calls himself Vanitas and carries the very tome he seeks. Ironically, the self procret self-proclaimed a vampire specialist is a mere human who inherited both his name and the book from his manit- master, the same Vanitas of legend. As the odd case of the sh- charlatan's parade crops up, the doctor's ability to restore sanity to vampires by recovering their true name will prove most beneficial. Oh, that, that blurb was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> that revealed so... more information than... I think we so, got so a little bit. So so let's uh let's get down let's get to the rundown on this. Uh actually let me open the thing. Sure These stray that. dogs are bone going. They, they do be <laughs> bone going. Um Okay. No, so, I don't know. I I could see the comparison more to Madoka. Yeah, honestly. Madoka, but it's like 30, it's like 80% with we'll 20% on dogs. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Let's have we'll, a rundown. Yeah. We'll get to that. Uh, so, uh, uh, I, guess our, I guess our secondary protagonist, uh, uh, Noe, who uh, is, uh, has, has, the, has the supernatural ability to color coordinate himself uh, <laughs> completely. Yes. On, 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 th- on a theme of white and purple. Uh, <laughs> Uh, is uh, aboard a enormous airship, and I, I I didn't actually catch it at first, which is how big this airship is. But uh, when they whenever they actually 
like show the outside of it. It's very impressive. I, I didn't expect mm-hmm. the, the 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 steampunk elements. Of yeah, I know. I love yeah. the steampunk we got, we sensibilities. Got the <laughs> we got the op. I don't know if it was because I wasn't paying attention, but I thought it took place in like modern Paris. <laughs> it feels um, a little bit then, like that. And then I saw the fucking airship. I was like, oh, okay, it's different. Oh, it's different. different. Uh, so yeah, so so he's a uh, he's on an airship uh, heading toward to uh, to Paris uh, when uh, a, a fellow passenger uh, Amelia uh, nearly faints and uh, and he he goes to to catch her. She's uh, she's very cold and apparently suffering from from anemia, uh, but uh, we'll only allow one doctor to. Uh, to examine her, which is where she is heading at the moment. Uh, they they have a they have a pleasant conversation about about Paris because Noah is very excited to see Paris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Banging at the window, being like, "Paris, where are Paris. you?" Paris, with the same <laughs> with the same energy as a as a five year old pressed against the window approaching a McDonald's. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> When she asks him what what he's interested in is, is he says that he's interested in uh, looking for the Book of Vanitas, which his mentor sent him a letter saying had been cited in Paris. Uh, the the blurb already explained the book, um, which uh, she seems not cool with, but doesn't say anything. She doesn't really say why. She just gets a little freaked out. Gets a little freaked out. She's like, don't touch uh, me. Uh, meanwhile, on top of the airship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the Wensler and his manservant <laughs> are, are planning their are planning their attack on the target inside the airship. Fucking <laughs> splinter cell us. Um, they're not even splinter selling it. They're just standing on top, which doesn't seem safe. This is a well, this is this is a fucking like mission in in Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Is this more like a is this more like a zeppelin than like a plane? Are they no, yeah, the kind of. The, the the drafts have still got to be pretty strong. But anyway, uh, <laughs> back inside, Noah and Amelia are walking when Amelia suffers another attack, but uh, and and refuses to allow uh, Noah to touch her. Uh, Accidentally revealing that she is a vampire. <laughs> and uh, this is one of those shows where when you see that they're a vampire, their eyes suddenly start glowing red. Their eyes and you're are like, red. ah. You get the hint because whenever they move fast, you see like it go the, the screen goes black and you see like the two red eyes like yeah. shooting Swooshing. through the screen like it's a Pokemon <laughs> attack. Yeah. Um just then, uh Vanitas, uh, or the Wensler, crashes in through the window to execute an attack on her. But she is, uh, she's saved by, by Noe, who is a gentleman. <laughs> He's like, you can't kill her. And he says, if you don't get out of our way, you'll be in for a world of hurt. And he says, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a little fight. <laughs> it's a pretty good career... I like the choreography in that sequence. It's pretty well I like how he like, like, like fucking throws her up in the air and then like does like backflip off his bars and then he catches her. Yeah, yep. he, he just yeets her like thirty five feet in the air, <laughs> thus really proving that he is also a vampire. Yeah, uh, his eyes also start glowing red. Because this is kind of out of the realm of a normal person. <laughs> I want to show where like it's just everyone's vampires, but they don't know it. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a that ton would be of funny. Like trying to hide the fact that they're vampire, but literally everyone else is too. You just do you do you, do you want the do you want the 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 op to be composed by the Smashing Pumpkins? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus. We're just we we should just make this podcast be like come up with an anime. We should just come up with an anime, the podcast. Yeah. Um. So. uh so yeah, they, they they have a little fight about it, and um, I actually forget how to, how that shakes out. But they do get separated. I think uh, Noe just kind of grabs her and runs. Yeah, um, I think that's kind of what ends up happening. Because what's more important is what's happening inside Amelia's skull. <laughs> it's not good. 
in her mind palace, which is a beautiful field of yellow flowers. But it, it she appears to have an uninvited visitor. She has yeah. a shadow man in there. Who uh who's very who who says that he would very, they would very much like to take over. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would because because it very much wants her true name, which is apparently what makes vampires tick. Um, is their 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 spiritual name, I guess. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Uh, the effects of this on the outside are bad. <laughs> she 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 loses the, what restraint she had, uh, and uh, does attack uh, Noe first. Uh, try with the the typical vampire. I want to suck the blood. Yeah. Thank you. Your blood when is so warm. Give me more, please. When she, when when he scrambles away, she summons up the shadow vines and starts pulling in all of the other human passengers in the area. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait a minute! You're not supposed to do that. That's not allowed. Hey, you can't. You can't kill humans. That's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Noah. What do you? What do you mean? What do you mean? There's been a murder. Nobody, you can't do that. It's illegal. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. No, I doesn't know what to do about this. Neither do. Uh. Does anyone else except for Vanitas, who has showed back up with his fun book. <laughs> yeah. Which he <laughs> yes. is going to unleash upon her to drive out the uh, the corruption of her true name. Mm-hmm. And not in so many words. He throws around some terms like malnomen and and such, which everyone says, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> uh, long story short, it works. Yep, she gets better. She gets better. It, it breaks through. <laughs> it, it breaks through the vines and allows her to reclaim herself. Yes. Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, you fixed me." Uh, mm-hmm. Which is, is all very touching until two, two, two French gendarmes burst into the room and say, Hey, everybody freeze. Why did you come in through the ceiling? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, 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 now we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. And he does try to Jedi mind trick them, but uh, a piece of uh, a piece of granite does fall out of the roof and hit him on the head. <laughs> and he does just fall out of the side of uh, the earth ship through a hole that was made during the conflict. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, Noe decides to uh, grab him by the ankle and go tumbling out with him. Yep. Just, just because. Um, assume uh, him, I assume he was trying to save him. Ellis, is yeah. it gay to... <laughs> Ellis, is it gay <laughs> to, to jump out, out of an airship? For a stranger. <laughs> Uh, in the follow-up scene, after they've crashed through the roof of a, cathe- a beautiful cathedral, what a tragedy! Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Vanitas lays it out that he's n- no, he's not the original Vanitas. Uh, he's inherited the name and the book from the Vampire of the Blue Moon. Mm-hmm. Despite just being a human, and that he very much intends to say uh, save all the vampires from this fate. Yes. And that Noah should come with him to be his shield with his sturdy body <laughs> and vampire powers. <laughs> and Noah says no. <laughs> Which is very funny for someone who just jumped out of an airship for, to save someone. But I, bl- I believe he says hard pass, actually. Yeah, he, he literally says hard pass. Uh, it's very this, funny. This doesn't seem to register with Vanitas, though. And then the, and then the, and, and then the episode's over. Yeah. Well, it it's not quite over. It does have a hook, which is uh, Noe narrating that this is how our travels uh, t- together began. We gained much and lost much. And in the end, I slew him with my own hand. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have to learn how that happened. Yeah. Which, I, which, you have to admit, it's a pretty effective hook. It's a good <laughs> hook. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's that's the rundown on this. What uh, what do we what do we think? What are your whole thoughts? So this one was pretty gay. Yeah, <laughs> There's a level of gay. That's why I was like, okay, I see the Madoka in this because a gay and also b 
um, whenever they do the, the like the maladies, <laughs> it's they go into like a stylized separate world, which reminded me very much of like the way they did the witches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's um, uh, there's art shifts all over yes. the place in the show, which I quite like. The uh, beginning the intro fable. is like almost don't starve ish. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also that's that's what reminded me of Madoka in this. Um, uh, the the clip I saw that uh, drew me to this and re reminded me of Madoka was uh, actually uh, much later on, and it seems to be seemed to be something very bad happening. <laughs> mm. Yes, I I uh, I mean, given the fact that we saw just the briefest little clips when Noe was doing his uh, like narration at the end, mm -hmm. I think that some some scary fucked up stuff is going to happen because this was kind of a good. fun and like lighthearted intro episode right it's like cute. it's yeah. it's fun <laughs> the 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 meat cute between yes between our our slender boys <laughs> <laughs> these these two boys um yeah also uh, yeah. there was a cat <laughs> there was a good there cat was a cat. there was a very Mur. good cat why <sighs> they they did call it its name is mer um <laughs> But it, um, it is a fluffy white cat with two different color eyes, and I'm obsessed. I everything. That's why I feel like I'm being pandered to, despite not being the target audience. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I know so uh, like a lot of nice little artistic touches here. Uh, I know some places where they did cheap out, but they did it in such a clever way that it uh, that it gets passed. That it feels fine. Yeah. Like the the windows in the church at the end were were three D rendered, but. They look fine. So <laughs> that yeah. that was the most uh, Castlevania ass scene. It literally looked like <laughs> the cathedral from Castlevania. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> I was like, yeah, baby. So uh, so yeah, we we got a we got another vampire anime. Anime loves vampires, and the and every and now French. and then, and and the French, and every now and then, it's got to make one. Uh, this one feels a little um, like different in terms of vampire stories. This one, this one feels a little better than the previous like vampire animes I know of. Yeah, some of them, some of which were real dumb and edge lordy. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, this one, this one seems all right. <laughs> I, I'm into it. I'm not sure I'm into it because. <laughs> I can tell that it's bait for a certain kind of person. <laughs> it's bait for a certain kind of me. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, I, and it's not bait for me. <laughs> but listen, the one of Noah is a white-haired, beautiful anime boy. Like, hello. He's a, of he's course, a, this is JoJo food. He's a he's a he's a white-haired, white eyelash, dark-skinned vampire boy <laughs> with purple uh -huh. eyes. With purple eyes. Uh huh. Um, who, is, who is apparently just going to straight up fall for the black haired anime boy with bright, vibrant blue eyes? Like, and come they're on. both, and they're both, and they're both very tall and slender. Uh -huh. And they both have like impeccable fashion sense. Yes, like, they're, they're very Victorian. But it's no a, way. It's just wearing this like perfect white top hat. It's perfect white <laughs> top hat, and he's wearing a morning suit in the middle of the night. Yes, the, the fucking. <laughs> The fucking gall of him. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I love it. These two goth kids are gonna have a baby. Um, <laughs> also, the, the drama. The drama. The, <laughs> Can we uh, talk about how dramatic both of them are? They're very dramatic. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I have to say the artistic elements are bait for Magpie. So. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm really excited to see all of the the uh, art shifts that they do. Yeah, that that's that's what it was. I I the clip I saw was the was apparently a, a plot twist and the oh. reveal of like a greater vampire. <laughs> have you? Uh, so you have a little bit of spoilers for this. I have one. a little bit of spoilers, but it 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 was in in the JoJo fashion. It was spoilers that were so complicated that they were meaningless. Yes, <laughs> right. 
But uh, yeah, I, th- I think it was uh, Vanitas talked about the vampire of the blue moon. I believe what I saw was the the vampire of the red moon. <laughs> so, Ooh. And she was scary. So. I see. Uh, so yeah, I uh, are we are we gonna watch? Uh, are we gonna watch any more of this? I I really need to watch more of this. I I really need to. <laughs> <laughs> um. I could recognize that it's good, but I don't think it's my thing. Mm-hmm. I would probably I will watch it probably if it's on. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those where it's just like, oh, hey, <laughs> it's uh, on. this is unfortunate. I have far too many animes to catch up on, and this is one that I actually really badly want to watch more of, which is unfortunate because I feel like we've been hitting a lot of those lately, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, good stuff. Oh man. This is this is this being on this podcast is a bad idea if you don't Being on this podcast that. is so dangerous. <laughs> so dangerous. <laughs> it's so da- it's dangerous in multiple ways because if you see good stuff, you're just like, oh I gotta add that to my backlog. But there's also a fairly strong chance that you'll see stuff that will damage you spiritually. <laughs> but there's like, also wanna, stuff like, that's like <laughs> But there's also like the in-betweens where you're like, this is bad and I still kind of want to watch more. <laughs> <sighs> See, like when we watched Kakagori last week, I was like, mm. <laughs> I don't know. I had no desire to watch it. My need for <laughs> that one is much, much less pressing. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, if you'd like to tell us uh, your true name so that we can manipulate you magically, you can do so at one episode cast at gmail.com. That is one the word, not the number. Uh, go ahead and uh, shoot us your uh, vampire social security as well. Uh, <laughs> you can hit us uh, up on uh, Twitter at, at one episode cast. That is also one the word, not the number. I think things just haven't been the same since the Nosferatu administration <laughs> cut back on vampire social security. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That has to be. That has to be the name of the episode. No, we got to get back to. We got to get back to the Drek days. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, I've seen a number of vampire anime, and I can't say I'm proud to say I've watched any of them. JoJo's counts, right? <laughs> one, I guess, counts. No, JoJo's counts. JoJo's is vampire anime. Does part two count? Are the Pillarmen just hyper advanced vampires? Yes. But, yes, because uh, <laughs> the what I think of immediately is Helsing, which is got its own baggage. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Then I remember there was like Vampire Night, but like Night with a K, and I watched part oh, of that. Yeah. I'd seen Helsing, and I was just like, "Wow, this this is bad." <laughs> what's uh, what's Vampire Hunter D like? Vampire Hunter D. Well, there was never like a like a TV anime for those, but I've seen. Uh. Uh, I've seen Vampire Hunter D, the movie from 2000, which is called mm. Bloodlust, and that movie is good. Okay. It, it's kind of just sort of, uh, it's kind of just like animation porn, because there's not uh, a lot of dialogue or anything going on. You know, <laughs> those can be fun sometimes, though. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's D riding his weird horse through <laughs> a weird future. And uh, uh, and then occasionally it'll cut away to focus on some human vampire hunters who are just having the worst time. <laughs> uh, Emma's not here, so Castlevania. There we go. The end. <laughs> Castlevania is a vampire anime. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, She'll kill us. Anyway, we yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of we here. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> we gotta run. Bye. Bye. <laughs>